Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ian, welcome to my uh, hobby YouTube channel, In Brief Book Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking in brief about David Goggins' Can't Haunt Me. Uh, it's a New York Times bestseller and in my opinion it's an absolutely fantastic book. Um, it really is, from start to finish, it will um, have you glued in glued in um more so at the at the at the end where you kind of you go on uh, in, in, with the book you go on a journey with him and you're like you're you're kind of so happy the way his life is torn out um for him after all the trials and tribulations he's been through in life i don't want to uh spoil it for anyone because i really want uh, people to go out and you know get this book or buy it online um but all i will say is um from David was uh, someone who had it really hard as a child growing up, um, a victim of uh, domestic abuse with his father towards himself um, and his mother um, and other members of his family to someone who um, kind of was downbeat about life, you know, was walking, as he would say, is not so in a job where he didn't want to be for the rest of his life. Uh, like spraying cockroaches, uh, spraying for cockroaches, you know, uh, in takeaways and stuff like that. Until one day he went home, and he's seen uh, an advertisement to do uh, Navy SEALs training. He, because he was such a big, huge guy, like you know, massive uh, guy. There's actually a picture of him in a book um, of him, and he's like colossal. You know, I'm, he's like big and. Um, it would be very hard for him to lose the weight, but he had in his head. He said to himself, "Well, like what, you know, what if I could?" So he um, he started out his journey just like thinking, "What if I could?" You know that mentality, and he basically went to go see the Navy SEALs trainer. He got um, he got a uh, you know he told like you you're kind of too big. You know, might have to come back if you come back and you lose his weight. You come back. So it was like a test. He he, passed, he got through. He goes through all these quite types of like tests and Navy SEALs, and you know to try and uh, better himself and try and get his foot in the door and try and get some sort of career for himself in the Navy SEALs. And it's a fascinating. I don't wanna, I don't want to spoil it for anyone. It's just a fascinating read. Uh, he he really did have a tough. He was growing up in an area called Brazil. I think in Indianapolis. Um, uh, and he, which was very close to the headquarters of the Ku Klux Klan. He was like the only African uh, American uh, youth in that town at the time, and uh, so you know he had a tough. Um, he taught. He, I think it, what what uh, appeal what they David's story appeals to so many is because people. Uh, look at it and they can relate to it because they may have may have in some form. Or, or another gone through elements of, of his life you know so a lot of people can relate to it and the fact that he speaks when he talks you can read a passion he just go on to him on YouTube he's got a lot of content on YouTube but uh, when you see him um, on YouTube you say like this guy is you know he's he's hard guy he's quite crazy, uh, swearing quite a lot and in a book, he just takes you on that as well. It's, there's no censorship there. It's it's really good. But it's like he, he's the type of person when you read it, it uh, he's the type of person. His his um his passion for for life, that he's drive for life, is infectious. And all in all, uh, this book is is really good. I would recommend it to anyone. Um, this would be seen as an autobiography. Um, but I, I can see why people are, uh, are so attached to it and him because it's like a kind of they he is helping other people realize that you know the, your your life in general you know the battle is with yourself it's not with anybody else it's with yourself and if you can overcome these doubts these fears and stuff like that um, I, I don't want to spoil it for anyone it's a really really good uh, book uh, the only thing I need to, uh, to get now this book is the hopefully you'll come over to Ireland one day and we'll be able to get a signed but uh, yeah he's fantastic you know he's very uh, much in um, he gets involved uh, with uh, his uh, supporters and his fans and his subscribers on YouTube in videos um, 
and um, I wish him nothing but the best in life and that it's um like I said it's fascinating read and um I think that you know if you've got a, a few uh few euro hanging around and that you know it would be a good time to pick it up especially in um, times like this when it's so difficult and that with the COVID-19 situation um, this this person might be the person uh, this book might be the, the book to try and get you back on uh, you know um, a positive mindset or you know um, get you back out trying to do a bit of running and stuff and that so all in all a uh, very positive uh, book review uh, i hope you enjoy this book review um if you've read the book again let me know what you thought of it um it's like i can't i really can't uh wouldn't understand why anyone wouldn't like this book it's 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 great and um if you wanted me to read any books and that just uh leave a comment below and uh, i will get back to you in regards to um any books that you'd like me to have a look at and maybe give a review to okay thanks very much for um listening take care have a good day